Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cars Casually. And we are C Magazine Fresh from the Manila International Auto Show 2022. And we're here to tell you some of the highlights that caught our eye. Uh, we had a, a nice booth there. We had uh, a lot of a lot of visitors. We gave out magazines, and I, I hope you were one of them. Um, <laughs> we had a supplement <laughs> that uh, everyone a limited a limited run supplement that yeah. we, that we gave out to people, and it was just a fun time overall. Yeah. But uh, it was, Nick, it was what, nice to see yeah. everybody. Yeah, definitely. It was nice it to was, see people was, from the industry. It was, it was, nice to see old friends, friends from the industry. Friends, yeah. Go ahead, Chris. Sorry. Def definitely a, a reunion of sorts. You know, we got to see old friends. We got to see um, people that we haven't seen in a while because of the pandemic. And so this is it's it's yeah. great that we that we had this thing again, and it uh, it felt good to be back. You know, felt good felt good for C Magazine to be back at Mias. And it also it, it it was nice to see the industry alive and vibrant again, full of energy. Yeah. There was so much excitement. I mean, especially with the the launches of each booth. No, there was so much energy. It was, it was, it was great. It was a great experience. If I'm not mistaken, and, and it's a hundred twenty thousand uh, attendees for like wow. the four days. Wow! 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 Okay. So next, what and were that's, the? What and were that's the... taking in consideration that there's own that not as many car manufacturers actually joined, and despite that, there was still an incredible turnout. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, so kudos to the organizers as well and everyone that participated. So because it's everyone's combined effort, so that obviously that's that was the result. It was fantastic. Well, go ahead, Absolutely. Chris. Take the lead. Okay, moving on. Um, some Mia's highlights. Next, what what cars caught your eye? Oh, oh, def okay. At first, let's start with the booth that caught my eye. Definitely Peugeot. So they had like their like full lineup with the Traveler. And then the two cars that we've tested, the 5008 and 3008, tested by Kevin. And what caught my eye among everything, all, all the cars there, was the 2008, the price at 1.55 million pesos. Okay, so what did you I like about it? I haven't actually tested the new 5008 yet, Nix. I'm, oh, sorry. I'm actually scheduled for it, but I have tested the 3008, and that is actually a gorgeous crossover. Not Not like anything else in the showroom floor of anyone's showroom it's actually quite quite remarkable inside and out and i really enjoyed testing that and i believe during the mias we did release a story online and uh our team actually pre uh, presented that online as well and this story will also have a print version but i really enjoyed it it's a great vehicle and a lot of people don't realize that the engine that's on these peugeots on the 3008 and 5008 are actually the engines were actually a little trivia where this was an engine that was actually used in the old minis in the old minis and a-class that's it's that same uh, uh 1.6 liter turbo engine and that's very energetic but instead of a supercharger it actually has a turbocharger so it's a very very good engine made it to an um isen six-speed automatic so yeah uh, Great, great vehicle, inside and out. So Sorry, go ahead. making the go ahead. yeah. So making the like so uh, with that in mind, like if the three double o eight performed, you know that well, I'm expecting yeah. a good amount of that to be in this subcompact crossover. So that's very promising to see in the future. Yeah, yeah. So guys, be sure to check out our review of the three o o eight on our website. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Okay, what else, Nick? Okay, then uh, the second thing that uh, hold on, hold on, you, you, hmm? hold on. Is, are are you done talking about the two zero zero eight, or is there anything else yeah. you want to add? Like, oh no, enough? we're just excited. No, it looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah. I think for this, I think Nick, you were mentioning that for the size. I mean, I know aesthetically, all of us were blown away. It really like it stood out. Doesn't look like anything else in the sh in, in 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 not just this show, but in any dealership in this country. Yeah. It and the, the, really price, the one that really caught my eye was the price tag. Because when I saw it, I'm like, oh, this might be a 1.82 million peso car. Then I saw the price tag of 1.55. I'm like, okay, that's pretty competitive. So this is a this is a subcompact crossover, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so basically, it's it's going up against the cool ray. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, that, the, like... and <laughs> well, speaking of cool ray, now did you guys check out that that nice special package? Well, they had two 
cool looking cool rays that mm -hmm. yellow one and the blue one and the blue yeah. one had a nice setup with the big brakes and the aftermarket yeah. exhaust the drift exhaust of from gm bugayong and stuff is i mean really nicely packaged yeah so mm -hmm. this is a segment that's heating up it's it's becoming oh, yeah. really competitive everyone wants a piece of it so it's going to be oh, really yeah. interesting what uh <laughs> what everyone um puts forward yeah. yeah okay and hey and check about that price remember you were excited about the peugeot that cool ray even with all the bells and whistles is still priced very competitively as well so i mean the, these chinese brand vehicles are not just look they don't not just look attractive but they're attractive across the board they give so much value for the money yeah and with five-year warranties and all that it's it's quite outstanding yeah so but speaking of not, chinese cars so Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Speaking of Chinese cars, uh, you, you want to go with the GAC? GAC. Yeah, go okay. ahead, guys. So tell us about the GAC. The yeah, GAC so I, I, Empow. 55, I think. Empow 55. So this was a, like, well, like when you entered the MIAS 2022, the, this is like, for sure the first thing you're going to see right chris like this is the first thing yep. that you actually saw right when you right when you enter it's right there in your face great location <laughs> kudos yeah. dac <laughs> yeah kudos for the like positioning and uh it was definitely an eye catcher yeah uh, then you see the gs8 behind it looking like you know like a big beast <laughs> that looks, yeah I mean, it looks really aggressive and mean and re it looks awesome i think it looks really really great and then now with a new end, with a new two-liter engine, it's an upgraded engine. It makes over 250 horsepower now and made it to an eight-speed gearbox instead of the six-speed. So, I mean, uh, great things coming from GAC. Yeah. Really, so truly great things. Definitely from good to even better. Oh, yeah. And this uh, this Empower, we're not sure if, if they're going to bring this in. But uh, it, if they do, it's going to it's gonna cause some trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, because yeah. by the numbers, so uh, specs wise, it has a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 175 brake horsepower and 199 pound feet of torque. So, if those numbers sound familiar, it's because it's very similar numbers to the Honda, the current Honda Civic. Yeah. So, it's another, be exciting another sports to put sedan these guys contender. Against, against each other. Yeah. Yep. That's for sure. Looking forward to putting them on a track since GAC is open to motorsports and they did right. they were also very successful well, in there in right, the, the GA4. The yeah, they won the endurance race again, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean it's great stuff from these guys. Hey, but but they they weren't the only ones. I mean, there are quite a few brands that were there. You got the Subaru also launched their the new uh Forester and the all new BRZ as well. And right. of course Russell Swift. Was is back after a couple of years uh, to excite uh, everybody and the, with with the car tricks and oh, then yeah. it's, he, he never he gets is old, in the Guinness but... Book of World Records. It's quite quite remarkable. Yeah. For for everyone who hasn't seen a Russell a Russ Russ Swift show, yeah, definitely. Yeah, don't oh, confuse yeah. it with Russell Peters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Russ. Russell Russ Swift. <laughs> yeah. Both good shows, though. Both good shows. Yeah. But, <laughs> but yet the, the Russ Swift shows, uh, like, we always make it a point, even if you've seen it a hundred of hundreds of times, that it, it's just a it's just a joy to watch. Oh, to it never gets action. old. And yeah, because there's a lot of skill involved. And they're using stock cars. That's why it, yeah. it makes it even more amazing. It's different when you see, like, when you get with Ken Block and these guys with these purpose-built purpose, purpose -built vehicles to do these tricks. But what's great with Subaru and with Russ is that he's using cars directly from the showroom. That's true. Yeah. You know, and then you see them all, you know, on two wheels, doing pirouettes, doing, I mean, amazing J turns. I mean, all of that. It's all it, that's 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 quite a highlight for the show. Yeah, he's, sure. he's truly a showman. Like, uh, like uh, I I was actually in the car with him one time, like six years ago. Like, truly a showman. That's that I'll say. Oh, and great. A lot of fun. Yeah, and then to see the BRZ in action, like they actually used uh, the BRZ on the Rust right. Swift show. That's awesome. The silver one, I think, right? I would. Mm -hmm. I did. I unfortunately I missed the show because I was busy going doing the actual tours, talking to everybody. 
but I think I think we're if Francis is is there. We can talk about uh, the 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 specialty cars from Motul as well, from uh, Auto Plus and the Motul people. They had yeah. they had an incredible setup, and we also get guys from MG. They had a really nice yeah. booth as well. Nissan. Uh, who else? Who else was there, guys? Um, that's actually quite oh, quite man. a few. Oh yeah. Then, uh, of course, Francis can talk about concept uh, concept one and all the other guys that. Because there were a lot more to see, not just in the same facility, but outside, outside of the actual uh, World Trade Center. There's a lot more areas where you can actually explore and do test drives. That's that's why it was so successful. There was so much for so many people. Like I said earlier, despite having not that many actual advert uh, um, automotive brands being there, there's a lot of the big giants, a lot of the Europeans that show up. Uh, believe Pew, uh, but Maserati was there, so yeah. you had Maserati with uh, Peugeot. Maserati. So there, there were the only two European brands that I believe that were there. Um, yeah, for the Japanese, it was Subaru and Nissan and Mitsubishi. Uh, and then for the Chinese, and then of course, you had uh, MG and Chevrolet were there. So right. we, we, it was a great show. And Chinese of course, cars had a strong showing, MG. yeah, definitely the strong presence this year. Chinese yeah, well, brands maybe we can bring showing. Francis They're... in so we can Francis can sh share his insight on his observations. Yeah, what do you think, Francis? Yeah, what, hands what, down. Your eye? Yeah, hands down, it would have to be the race cars at the Auto Plus booth, you know. I mean, yeah. just like the Mercedes uh, Benz G uh, SLS GT3, I think there's only a hundred of those cars made, and that's something yeah. from like 2014, but the technology that car has i mean it's really it's outstanding. ahead of its time yeah yeah super i mean it's it's the, the whole shell i think it's made of carbon fiber i mean it's it's like straight out of alema um race you know i mean it's yeah. not really well built and also the I, 488 I, uh, ferrari it's so tastefully put together i'd say this these yeah, two cars are, so. yeah because these are factory race cars like for the four, ah. 488 challenge it was really oh. built for the Fry Challenge Cup. So it's like the Tuaso Racing here to get the same kind of cars, just like these ones. Oh, okay, okay. That's, uh, yeah. But was that so Angie's really... car, Francis? Or is it, no, that's not, that wasn't Angie's car, was it? No, this is different. Those, this is okay. a different one. Yeah. But the race, it was a race series car. Like yeah, a, it's on one make. Uh... Yeah, the one make 488 Challenge, Ferrari Challenge Series. Race. Wow. This is like a 2019 model. So the thing is, I don't know, these are cars are really road legal. If it's taken abroad, I think they would run on the street anyway. But yeah, I guess pwede because you have the, the plate numbers already. Well, yeah. These cars are full slicks. I mean, you know, the tires alone, these are full slicks. I mean, these are real race cars. I mean, and the, the interior alone. And the 488 also has this... Uh, F1 derived steering wheel with the manatee, you know, you know, the one with the different buttons. Oh wow! Like, yeah, that's how race car it is, and the race spec roll roll cage and everything. It it makes around like six hundred horsepower. I'd I'd love to see a feature in this car for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very nice, very very nice. And then winning awesome. the best of show this year is I uh, know um, the Land Cruiser. I don't know if you see that. It has a it's a FJ40 Land Cruiser. With a trailer built from half of the body of an old Land Cruiser, wow. so they're built entirely the same, the same tail lights and everything. So it's well put together. I mean, it's really well put together. When once you see it, it really will catch your eye. I mean, the craftsmanship yeah. is really well done. So and that took that's home the best won. of show this year. Yeah, that took home yeah. the best of show this year. And also the six-wheel pickup from Concept oh, yeah. of this year also. Yeah. That was also yeah. uh there it is. Right there. <laughs> I mean, How can you not? not imposing enough? I don't know yeah. what it is, you Look know, it's really huge. There. They yeah, also grabbed the, the best pickup. SUV and the best uh they also grabbed a few awards. I think uh, I think three of them. One of them's the best. Hey Francis, SUV. Francis, why right? wasn't like, right next to Ato uh, was Atoy's group too since so, so, and they were presenting the direct opposite of all the and they said, besides all the race cars, they were showing all the living spaces. Yeah. That can be pulled by these six wheelers and all the other stuff, like they, these trailers and stuff. Those are cool too. Yeah, they Those have, are they really have like an airstream, an old airstream like yeah. trailer yeah. Uh, made of aluminum. Yeah. 
No, it's really idea. awesome. Yeah. That's really and, and, and guys, there's one brand. Forgot, forgive me. There's one other brand that we we didn't talk about. It was also another Chinese brand that had a huge showing. There it was Cherry. Cherry oh, presented yeah. their yeah, new yeah, lineup yeah. for for the year that they're gonna be that they're they, they actually they're already selling on the spot as well and they were selling really well. It they're great. The new uh, Tigo Eight Pro and Tigo Eight Pro uh, plugin. Uh, and yeah. and also Photon had their new so I mean there were, were a lot of other brands that were yeah. there like yeah I did say there were a few but those those guys participated as well and they were really great but back to you Francis sorry sorry I, I like to butt yeah. in forgive oh, me sorry that's all right I mean aside yeah. from the cars it's also nice to see the aftermarket uh, companies on uh, on hand for the event you know yeah like car care oh, products yeah. from mothers and know, even Michael yeah, yeah. Worth was there. Yeah, I mean, there as yeah, Ariel was, there. was there. I mean, yeah. great guy. Yeah, there was yeah. a lot of these 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 guys in the yeah. background. They were really great to see. Yeah. And motorcycles. I mean, there was actually also motorcycles, quad bikes, mm -hmm. uh, 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 ATVs. Yep. I mean, in fact, right next to our booth was uh, mutt. I mean, really mutt. cool mutt. looking mutt. bikes, man. <laughs> Do you guys see those? Yeah. Yeah, oh, definitely. Uh, they're yeah. right beside us. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Those are look awesome. I mean, yeah, I, there I they see, are. I can see Chris yeah, delivering are. his wood yeah. boods in, the, in that mud. Oh, yeah. Pipe, man. <laughs> yeah. All I was eyeing them. I was eyeing them. Yeah. Dude, and they were yeah. right beside our booth. You can see our booth right there. <laughs> it has that you know, uh, vintage vibe. Yeah. It's like, I want one. Yeah. yeah, even if you don't know how to ride a motorcycle, it's like I I, I want one. <laughs> I want to be. They look like old Yeah, yeah. That seems to be the trend now. Going back to vintage-looking classic bikes, yeah. I've I've yeah. seen more, seeing more and more of those. Yeah, the because popularity. there's more character, man. There's more character. But what I like about it is that they're embracing the, the retrospective looks, but they're packaging packaging them with modern uh technology mm. and safety yeah. equipment right. like those mud bikes have abs right yeah so it's nice that you have a retro look but it actually has anti-lock braking systems on it and yeah. you know and the digital uh digital fuel ejection and all those things so it's great man yeah anyway for, sorry digressing again sorry guys Go ahead. yeah yeah. And uh, Lego, Lego was there too, but we're not gonna get into Lego because Nick's will keep talking for the next two hours. So yeah, oh, Nick, yeah. I love Lego too. <laughs> I, I, I'm, 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 just show the picture. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, yeah. Show, it's, I'll, really I'll show. I'll show one photo. Show yeah, one. The Vespa yeah, yeah. was. The Vespa looks really nice, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Vespa. The Vespa Lego. Wow, grab yeah. it. The, the the logo, the sticker, the Vespa logo. <laughs> Super nice. I think we have that. Okay, I want like one yeah. quick comment. <laughs> uh, the Toon Tash. The, the, nah, among the all the, the, the Legos, the speed uh, the speed champion sets, I think the best implementation was the Kun Tash, the Lamborghini Kun Tash. I agree. I agree with you, Nick. Okay. It was it was very tastefully done. It actually really looked good. Not as blocky because I know some guys have done it before and it was a little too blocky. This one is a little more more refined, more yeah. closer to the real a good representation. Yes, a very accurate representation of the Kuntash. Okay, so before right. we close out, next one more brand. You mentioned something about Nissan. Oh yeah, definitely. So okay, like on a realistic uh, standpoint, I think my like my personal best in show from a manufacturer would be Nissan and the Caliber X. Because it, it's it's offering what people want on a package and what people need. So everyone, you should like, there's a huge trend on four by two pickups because it's utility without overspending on four by four. So right. it's nice to see Nissan provide a package wherein it has all the cool stuff of the Nissan Pro 4X, which we have a video review on. Yeah. But on a four by two platform and. Uh, this one's 1.56 million pesos, which is 186,000 pesos cheaper than the 4x4 wow. model. So wow. for those who want like an off-road look without spending too much, this is it. Wow. Awesome. So you got uh, 4x4 perks, I mean, in terms of accessories. It's a top-of-the-line model, mm. right? Yeah. yeah so yes, in terms of accessories, correct. in terms of fit, fit and finish, and, and uh, bells and whistles and all that. Yeah. How yeah, dirty like If you'd ever need... <laughs> but if you never need the 4x4 
drive system, then this is this is the pro for it. So, yeah. 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 No, this is not four by four, Chris. Huh? It's four by two. Yeah, four by two. Mm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. Yeah. Um. One other group that did have a booth as well, which is very not that I would like to point out, is the Electric Vehicle Association of the Philippines. Even they had their own booth. Which is nice to see that they were demonstrating the different charging systems and yeah. all the different plugs, and also try to re to educate our uh, the consumers to the to the new trends and people were moving because uh, this is not the future; it's now, it's the present. That almost right. every manufacturer must have an electrified vehicle because mm -hmm. it is for, uh, not just for emissions but also for for lower cost. You know, so th this is it's so you're helping the environment, and at the same time you're also helping yourself. The only thing is, our government, unfortunately, is still charging these guys too much money. So, I mean, we were supposed the IRR hasn't been released yet. So, even though the the laws exist and all these incentives exist already, the implementation of the rules hasn't happened yet. So, unfortunately, a lot of these great electrified vehicles are still priced too high. Um, so, I'm hoping that. Um, very soon, uh, you know, hoping even before the elections are are completed or after, with the next uh, next administration that um, the IRR is actually implemented, which is good for everybody. Awesome stuff. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for watching, everyone. This has been C Magazine and our recap of Mias. Um, yeah. We're don't forget to follow our social media pages: Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. We're all we're, we're there. So right. we'll see you around and thanks for watching. Thanks, thanks for, for watching, guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye.